Say hi. Oh, you have the nastiest look on your face. Jaden, say hi. Say hi, Jaden. Jaden. Jaden, say hi. Oh, she's smiling a little bit, but she's kind of hiding it. And Jaden, I don't know what Jaden's doing. <laughs> say hi. Hello. It's up there, YouTube. Today we are at the Miramar Air Show. We saw a parachute guy. We saw that too. I think this is a C-17. Oh my gosh, what is this? Look at that. It's very large. That is really Super Stallion. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there they go. Right up. Rock up the approach speeds of 120 mile per hour. Watch for the parachutes. There you have the high flying black and gold of your United States Army parachute team, the Golden Knights. Now, as you may have guessed, these jumpers are facing a unique situation. Let's watch Jane and Scott. They must create vertical separation in order to allow for individual approaches to the target area. This is accomplished by pulling down on the front part of the carriage, spiraling down at speeds in excess of 60 miles per hour. He did something pattern. Just like he likes the aircraft out of his ear. Whoa, Jane, look at that one. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, as these jumpers fly their parachutes over you, they can hear you just like you and I on the ground. Make some noise for the team. Yeah! Flipping all around when it gets really squirrely wind wise. I don't even like to walk.
you see it out there in the uh, in the crew chiefs for as much as fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> I got that. Nini, are you having fun? <laughs> oh, Nini. Look at this. This is a warthog. 810 warthog. Nene, you want to go to the airplane? Come on, Nene, come on. Mama, 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 mama. Whoa, look at this. Look at the moon on there. Whoa, look at this. Jaden, this is the thing you saw earlier. Look at this. How massive those propellers are. Beware of blast. There's a one osprey looks all folded up. That's crazy. Look how compact it is.
F4 Phantom. These are old. It was a very cloudy day and the air was canceled all over. And I said, I hated it. Daddy! Hey, Daddy! Boom! 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 I have my life how much stuff is like over here. Yeah, there's tons. Did you think over there? That was it? That's no. Look at these afterburners.
Mary Jane, this was in uh, Transformers. <laughs> Yeah, remember the big old helicopter? Oh, this is awesome. Wow, you want to go inside it? Oh, you want to go on the jumping things, all right. Look, Jaden, look at the look at the gun and the rope on there. Is that cool? Jaden, can you go do that? <laughs> It's a bee? Yeah. It looks like a ladybug to me. Is it gonna fly away? Ow. <laughs> Ow. It didn't even, you touched it, it didn't even bite you. <laughs> You're funny, Jaden. Are you gonna, what are you doing? You gonna fly away? That's a ladybug. That's a lady, oh, it's trying to get to the candy? Oh, protect the candy. Say fly away. Fly away. Did it get you? Did it get you? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. From the left, from Marine Corps Air Station Yuma, the F 35B Lightning. As they pop up with their rockets, their chain gun underneath the nose, able to lay down fire. Force reconnaissance insertion is conducted by the fast rope insertion extraction system, known as fast roping, thus allowing them to insert locations where it's not safe for the Huey to land. 
You know, Robin, you absolutely have to get it done. You call in the Marines. Watch as they begin to establish the bio sound. Aztec 2-1, push when able. Point through one, and heading to the heading that is popping up right now is that that chain gun nose can be attached to the helmets and the viewers of a medical gunner or the pilot in the back seat for a look and shoot capability. Turn the head to the right, that chain gun will turn to the right. 150 degree lateral a spread and almost an 80 degree vertical spread on how that can be aimed and shot. The first helicopter in the world built from the skins up to be an attack helicopter. Machine, you can feel it in your chest out here when he gets on those guns, can't you? Indeed, we can. Oh man, now high overhead. Rob, look at this. The Osprey's coming in for the break. The sound is unmistakable. Tilt rotor concept has proved to be just what the Marine Corps needed for a new aerial vehicle capable of lifting some 15,000 pounds directly underneath it or 24 fully equipped troops, in this case, Marine riflemen. Now check this out. Providing the top cover. Hold on. Cobra and the Huey are going to sit right there and those two Ospreys are going to come in. Marines. In 
every part of the Marine Air Ground Task Force is evident in what we're seeing here today. United States Marine Corps, it's our track vehicles, the M1A1 Abrams. system that takes care of all the bumps and bruises and puts their firepower right on target. We also have the LAV-25 light armor vehicles. And we've got several high mobility, multi-purpose wheel vehicles or Humvees. I'm telling you, Rob, the Marines have made their own weather system out there at this point. Look at all that. Well, the enemy's not finished yet. I see the Marines down here. They're moving around, Rob Ryder. I think they have something else up there. Final trick up their sleeve to finish this off. Sanitation. <laughs> okay, 
Gentlemen, a huge round of applause for all of the participants today in the back tap. The Supremes make their way down behind you. And the tanks, the hoppers, give them a round of applause. And look high overhead. Rob, tell us what we have coming here from the left. On the left, in the lead. We've got the MH-53 in formation. Two MP-22 Ospreys. The AH-1 Whiskey Cobra. And the Huey Helicopter. 